Hey guys, it's Will here with Bryce. Hey. Uh, we just got through the day. Uh, we just recorded a one pod more podcast. One more podcast. We're going heavy, uh, Mike, with uh, <laughs> what's been going on and stuff. We're going more heavy on the, let's say, like the social media. So we just got off finishing our podcast about Will versus D and D. Um, it was a lot of other people talking, but that's the podcast for you. When you we got some words, but when they figured out that we were on the same side, they're like, no, no, you guys aren't talking again. Oh, no. But it was uh, so fun. Yeah, so uh, we, uh, we'll come for that. Foul Guys will get a YouTube video special, and we're doing some other stuff for you guys. Um, uh, Foul Guys and our Discord guys will get this video first. So this will be a week, about like four days early access into watching us unbox this. So further ado, let's kind of go into the history here. Start off, Wizards is getting these. We are getting nine boxes. No pre-orders. We will get rule books, no chapter approves, painting stuff. But this is Bryce's personal box. He'll be picking it up on the 25th, which they release, which is a Saturday. Can't wait for that day. Yeah. Um, but he was lucky enough it's that we honor our policies and stuff, but it's a long rant I can go into, but that's not the main thing in this video. This video is to celebrate this box and the release of 9th edition. So uh, they wrote... Dominus Crusade and one more edition to make me relearn every single rule again. So they, uh, for all those who do play, they released FAQs on the community page that are an update to the codexes. So 8th edition codexes are still going to be in play. Do not expect new codexes until later oh, on near Christmas. Yeah, you shouldn't be expecting your codex to get updated unless you're in the popular selection anytime soon. Yeah, like these guys definitely have updates in the box, <clears throat> but we'll we'll go over that once we get to it. So, uh, do you have any words about your thoughts on Ninth Edition before that we crack this? Ninth Edition kind of like intrigued me. I like the idea of a new edition. I like the idea of all the new editions. Unfortunately. Uh, Ninth edition, I thought came on sort of fast. Yes. What were your thoughts about that? Yeah, they they like eighth edition was all like, oh, we're gonna be like only one edition, no new ones, and it, it lasts for quite a bit. Like it lasts like, but normal editions usually last about four or five years, whereas this one lasted like three. At the same time, ninth edition, like I feel like it's less of an edition and just a big add-on. Yeah, eight. it's like a point five. Yeah. To, to go with the D and D that we were talking about, which is. What we were, our podcast, yeah, it feels like a like an eight point five. Kind of like the jump from six uh, to seventh edition yeah. Warhammer. They weren't the same, but they had a lot of similarities. Yeah, like it was just seventh was just a point five. It was an update. Which I'm thinking ninth is going to feel like an update too, because what was the first thing they dumped on us? They were like, oh, this rule, this rule, this rule is going to change. They didn't tell you like when seven to eight hit, where they're like everything's changing. You might as well forget seventh, which was kind of the yep. way that one hit. And they decided, yep, this, 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 and this are going to change. And they did do an excellent job releasing this box because it is actually a good deal based on what is in it. Yeah, they, they learned that the internet exists and you need to talk to it. Also, I've, I've, switched, yeah, I've I switched over <laughs> to uh, looking at other games and stuff just because it's part of the business and we're looking to expand. But I got into Bolt Action recently, which is a World War II game. They're nice models. They're nice. They it's make a, excellent resins. They're a 28 mil. So the idea is, like, from what I've seen, everyone, like, Games Workshop is, like, the Ferrari of miniature gaming. It's high detail, larger models, but when you start with it and you're like, you this model's like... Ferrari, too. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas, like, you look and you start at this and you're just like, this model's, like, $80, blah, but then you're like, you go to any other smaller game, it's, like, the same sort of value as $80, but you get less. So it's just, like... The box sets are good. Like my eyes were open to it, and this is no, no, no uh, difference. It's 239 MSRP Canadian, which again the miss told me the price, and I, they told me it was going to be 250 on the on the. Well, I definitely machine. thought that that was the yeah, place the, I was going to sit at too, considering the Illumineth box came in a little higher than yeah, I thought. Then this had way more than the Illumineth, and it like. Yeah, yeah, this so, thing outshines by miles, which is kind of nice. I'm still sad Illumineth costs so much because I like yep. them too. But yeah, this is just like, I kind of wish this was the two-player starter box, but it's apparently not. But anyways... Well, it feels like it. It is. It's their it's limited... It's basically a two-player starter box. It's their limited box. campaign starter box. But we'll flip the backs here because everyone's seen the, the thing. We'll have photos on the screen here. We're, we're doing this a different way. Instead of having a video of the sprues, we're going to have photos... So we'll have this so you guys can see on the camera here and any time around here, future me, show them the, 
show them the picture of the back here, but I will pass this to Bryce. He's been waiting long enough. Rip and tear into All it. All right, let's get this thing open. No. I want the model that everybody else wants, and that's the Judicator. He's a really nice looking model. I want him for cord. And his stats. A lot of people are like, oh, the Judicator's like, kind of like a chaplain, a little cheaper. That sword swings for good damage, and making your opponent fight last, if your army is all swords and boards, is going to yeah. be kind of interesting. Yeah, good old Age of Sigmar oh, going into our 40k. See what's actually in there. That's at the beginning. Maybe they made the box well, chapter. I'm seeing minis of different chapters trouble. all over the edge here. Ooh, that is nice. Oh, and of course, like everything else, the posters. They're covered so you don't wreck or it moves. Yeah, the stop. poster's meant to get destroyed from what I've been told, which is really unfortunate because... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a cover... They're gorgeous. Yeah, it's a cover piece so the sprues and stuff don't shake around or you don't accidentally cut it with a box or something. But um, they are nice. This is... So the box here will show is there's different chapters on the edge of the, uh, All right. of the thing. But, as you guys can clearly see here at the start, Sprue Central. Oh, yeah. And it says a lot of... All models. the new plastic. It's like the bright gray, brand new stuff. And I love it when they don't cut the sprue. New so you can see the hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So pass so. me a sprue so I can take a photo. All right. Let's have a, let's get a nice shot of these bikes. We'll put them down for you. Yeah. Oh, that's heavy. Bikes are big things. I actually had to look at them. They're a fair bit bigger than the normal Space Marine bikes, which is, I guess, what you'd expect. But that it is still a, is nice. That is a heavy sprue. The wheels don't turn anymore, though, but... For, if, for how much you're paying. It fe I love, that's why I love metal. I hate metal because I've been sister player all this time. I love metal because it feels good. That weight, you're like, I spent $80 on this, but it weighs. Like, I can knock someone out with it. If I ever win the lottery, I'm going to have a motorcycle belt like this. Cool, oh, that'd be sick. Get the guys who did the Tron bike right. to make it for you. Exactly. Okay, these must be your... Um, salt Marines. Well, the new variant for the Assault, assault Marines, and I can't remember the Intercessor, the like Assault Marines or whatever? Yeah, the Assault Intercessors. There we uh, are. The nice thing about these guys, is probably everybody already knows, is the Chain Swords are now AP-1. Yes, because Primaris. Which is awesome. Like, honestly, there are so many new combinations with an AP-1 weapon on your troop choice. Especially a melee a weapon. Bit. So let's shift these over to the photos. Pull up the other one as I'm doing this. Uh, whoa, okay. This is two. Alright, so on one side we got our our lord with his shield with the full skeleton on it, like everybody likes to talk about. That is a whole guy that is just on that person. shield. So, it, is, it, is it really a shield save or is it a lookout, sir? Both. <laughs> What's and the difference in the guardsman? Yeah, the, uh, the other side we've got, I think this is the Necron lord. Yeah, that's the Necron dude. That's the new overlord. He is a really gorgeous model. I found that all the new Necrons are just beautiful. I, I love the, the way they look. I you took a space ring and put it on the shield there. So it's like a space ring. Talk my shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're only you're guardsman now to me. Well, it does give him a plus one to his armor save, so yeah, maybe you, he's just holding the space ring there. Have you seen that argument that's on yeah. Facebook right now about, like, everyone's losing their shit because they don't get their invuls anymore, but it's just like an armor save now? Well, they still get a four-up invuln off the shield. Yeah, they, they. I like the new shields better because you get your plus one to your armor, so you're two up, and then you also get a feel no pain. But here's something that me, me and a, a no couple of guys great. have been discussing. So, Ooh, shield. Most people may or may not know if you're a custodians player. The custodians rules at the end of the thing says that if you are a Battleforge custodian army, you gain a plus one to your invuln save. So if the shield gives you a flat. Four up in Vaughn save. Then you go right back to a three again. I'm not sure what these are. These right. are the new Necrons with like the the spider the, legs. The, yeah, the spider yeah. leg dudes. They're very pretty. Yeah. But yeah, so custodians now, if it works the way that everybody keeps thinking, are gonna be a three up in Vaughn, two up save plus one. On their standard infantry. Ooh. Which for me turns them from oh look custodians to oh no. Oh no. Custodians. To quote a dead meme. Oh no. Yeah, exactly. And the fact that with command points being reorganized, custodians are going to come into a game with 12 command points. <laughs> Not yeah. four, where I'm like, okay, is that a command point? I, I can't expect a tangle foot grenade to hit me in the butt every five seconds. Oh yeah, or, this is the like, weird, like, War of the Worlds. The long, like, skinny, yeah. lanky little dude that The daddy long legs of the Necron. He does look like a War of the Worlds thing. What else do we got? 
Uh, looks like we've got our Banner Lord. The, um, my gosh, their names are so hard to remember now that I'm supposed to remember them. As it always do. Uh, is that the, that? I that think, is the one that you wanted. Yeah. With, like, uh, with a big square head sword. The big fuck off sword. Yep, and then here's your chaplain. There's a dead dude, or is that just a hole? What? I think it's a hole for an item to go in there. Yeah, are these, these are like a weird, like. Wait, there's a hole in that one too. Yeah, these are like a weird easy to not easy to build. I know, but I always find that I'm clipping the, the plugs yeah. off. Because some of the models, Games Workshop, you do a good job, but like a Micron off with those little, like, fit-ins, and the oh, model doesn't remember, fit anymore. Remember the two-player starter box we did for the the, uh, the rewards for Age of Sigmar, and how, like, the freaking female uh, Sigmarines were, like, oh, super, you got that like, one warped. box where, like, half of them didn't fit, and I wound up getting some of them. I had to take them apart and grind huge chunks off of them or to get them to fit. Or green stuff the shoulder pads because there's huge gates. Oh, yeah, I've seen people with yeah. that problem, too. A lot of new players. The snap fit uh, Stormcast Eternals can sometimes not snap fit. Yep. More like snap and break. Yes. <laughs> All right, so this is this is the Meltagon. Looks like more swords, more which shields. means that these are the Melta Troopers. The one thing That's that I liked about thing. them, well, they're two-shot Meltaguns if they all shoot at the same target. Yeah, but I mean, like, it looks like it wants to be a flamer, but it's also got the, the, the old classic cheese grater melta cover. The extra power pack. Like the heat shield at the end there? Yep. The cheese grater. I thought these things were awesome. If I recall, they're not... Um, oh, no, there's Dead Space Marine. There's another... There's a Dead Space Marine on here? Dead Space Marine. Oh, now they're a full skeleton on a banner, as you can see right there. Space Marine, because it has the augmentations over the heart. There's two posters? Yeah, apparently. Huh. Like, uh, I guess if you're... you're I guess because it says two-player box. Yeah, you're splitting it, so you might as well give one to one and the oh, other one. Oh, the new Necron Warriors. <laughs> yes. And their new AP minus one or two weapons. Gas weapons are Oh, strong. these things are such short range. Oh, that's from the the destroyer box or whatever. They're heavy weapon boxes. Yeah, but they're uh, they're different. They have different cannon fill-ins. Huh. And they yeah, can they be taken on regular troops. They, they removed the green sticks, which I really liked the green sticks because you could customize them with other colors. I did too, but at this rate, you can still paint a really cool color on here. Yeah, it's a lot. But the I downside guess... is it doesn't give you the... the uh, I'm going to get away with sticking this green stick and it's going to look awesome. Now yeah. it's... I, I got to learn how to paint this. That's to be a little fair, you, then you don't have to buy third-party sticks or cut your own or like have the glue fog up. So I guess, and it's like more structurally sound. So I guess actually is from a like an engineering sort of sense, it is a lot better. But the classic green stick. You're gonna miss it, those it, green it's a, sticks. It's a classic. It's it's iconic. Well, the nice thing about them was you used to be able to. F um, I think in some of the older ones, they were two pieces that glued together, weren't they? Yes, yeah, so if you made the if you made the 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 gas cannons like these boyos, yeah, they or were two if you sticks. got third party ones that were hollow, you could put stuff inside of them. Yes, like you can do so much cool glowy effects. So here's a, another group of them, same thing. Uh, these units do come with their scarabs. Yep, they and should. Everybody's gonna like this. This is most likely what's going to be in the new box. It looks like you can build regular warriors <clears throat> or their heavy weapon counterparts in the same box. Mm-hmm. It's almost, it seems like they're, like, since Grey Knights and Sisters, they're starting to put, like, if it's the same body, they're just putting the extra weapons into it. Well, the nice thing about these is they're not actually their version of heavy weapons. That's not, like, a heavy bolt or anything. Yeah. It's, like, the difference between um, the Tau Strike team that has the standard pulse Oh, like weapons, the carbine versus And then the, the short ones that are, like, shotguns. Oh, because those, way these those do work. look like the, they're heavy webby. They kind of do, but they, they do have different rules. I know oh. that. Interesting. All right, so we got another poster here, and look at that. Oh, there's a mini poster. It is the same. There's a mini poster. There's a mini poster right here. Oh, okay. So uh, <laughs> not so much a mini. poster. It is a mini poster. It technically. Is shameless advertising. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna rant about this. So I bought the sisters box. I bought two of them because everyone knows my love Very of sisters. Nice box. I'm like the only Very other impressive. sisters player that we know of, besides like a guy at another store. But this paper, I'm not gonna show the back has a, a QR code to give you a book. This one looks like it's an actual book. And it gives you, like, a, you scan the code, it gives you some stuff based off, this one is the Adominus model. It's a new novel from... Uh, Gav Thorpe. Gav Thorpe. Everyone and knows. he's pretty good at that yep. stuff. But the Sisters one, because they sold out so fast and they almost pulled, like, the Adominus almost pulled the same crap too where they didn't make enough 
and they basically just like swept it on the rug to like yeah no, oh they, they, didn't fuck they up. did not make enough it it was sold out in yeah. the UK in ten minutes oh, I knew I I went onto the website today they updated it you, there's literally a captcha to see that you're not a robot so you're not auto clicking the buy now yeah for pre order but anyways I'm going off track. This in the sisters one was for their new book because they did not make even enough black library novels. They basically deleted it from existence, said oh. it did not exist. So when you scanned your code, it didn't work. And when I called them, their, their reps, they're like, oh, sorry, we didn't make enough, so we just deleted it, so no one gets it. That's not fair. So, you got the box. You should get the thing. Yeah, it's, it's a PDF. How do you not make enough? But apparently because they didn't make enough physical, they deleted the PDF. Anyways, so this is... I'll give that to Bryce so we don't. He does his code doesn't get used up on him. I like that picture though. It is really nice. It is the cover from the this campaign book that's in a nice actual mm -hmm. like comic sleeve. Right, but anyways, that's, that's rant good. rant done. Hopefully they don't pull a sister. All right, this uh, this looks to be what you would expect to be a bit of your rules and how to build. Yeah, I like it. It's like in an actual comic sleeve. I know they need to. Well, I think the other the Luminat ones came in sleeves too. Did it? The sisters one didn't. It was just the old school plastic. Some of them were floating. Some of them were in sleeves. Now, yeah, this is your standard rules for building your Indominus box. And as you can see, from what I know and from what I've kind of figured out, kind of not figured out from both YouTube videos and looking up stuff on the web. Each one of these armies is a thousand points or just shy of it. Which is, frankly, How? amazing. How? Um, All together they make up a thousand points each. I know, but it's... I think your phone's going off. Oh well. No. So yeah, uh, we figured out that the points value is about a thousand points for each army. Yeah, which I didn't like because... In the lore, Space Marines have always been like, you very rarely see them, or you'll never see them in your life. And they're just like a big behemoth. It's just like, they're like, oh, the Grey Knights in the, um, the Grey Knights, in lore-wise, are very rare, and they're super powerful, so we have the points, but they're not as good. Whereas the Custodians are a nice balance of, they fit the lore perfectly for tabletop ruling, and they're, like, one dude is, like, basically a quarter of a normal army. But Space Marines are in this weird thing that they're like, yeah, Space Marines are just our guardsmen for the elite armies. So you can have, like, a bunch of them. Whereas you should have had, like, for every, like, ten-man unit, you get, like, two units of another army or something like that. All right. Well, what's the other book? There was another book oh. in there. Is that, is that, like, the, the edge easy of rules? Silence. Or, like, what is this? I don't know yet. We're is this the campaign out. book? Okay, so Ooh. first page is beautiful, uh, beautiful lore. Show the camera. Yeah. Lore and planets. Oh, wait, what's this say? This is like the intro to the campaign, I'm guessing. It actually has what planets are controlled by what in here. Yeah. Like well, that's very, very interesting to know. What's on the next page? I saw that really ne Yeah, the hat. Okay, so beautiful lore, lore page is what we've got here. Yeah. Looks like the Necrons are doing some waking up. Yeah. War of the Worlds, chicken. <laughs> War of the Worlds. Again, another thing a lot of other games don't do is these really nice books that you get in your box. Like, uh, Bolt Action, you may have, like, barely anything for, like, their D-Day box and all that for, like, books. Models, though. Like, train and stuff. I, I miss when they, they give you some re like, a really large poster, like, something like this that yeah, I yeah, put yeah. up that covers my wall. <laughs> they replaced the, uh, the one where it was a bunch of slave people walking into it with Space Marines instead. <laughs> but they still kept, like, the, the, the guy counting census and the floating servitors. Well, it was a big Imperial cannon, I yeah, think, too. The big fuck-off Nova cannon. Yeah. Son of shotgun of the Imperium. Oh, and then... Uh, basic information about Necrons with a picture battalion. of some of the new models. I think this is the what's in the box. Like, it's your army mm -hmm. layout. Like, this is this army. Like, in the codexes, when Actually, you get to... I believe the you are 100% right with yeah. that. Yeah. So in your codex, like in, like, Age of Sigmar or 40k Necromunda, there's always, like, that section before the models showcase where it's, like, here's an example battalion that we made based off of a name character. That costs, like, 4,000 points and yep. you'll never use. Yeah, I know. I, I regret looking in my closet every day because well, I bought so many box sets and realized I'll oh, never be able to Angels play with them. Angels of Death. This has got to be when the Space Marines get involved. Yeah. Little picture with that, models. Can we just take a second to appreciate Games Workshop making a legit <coughs> CGI m short film for 9th edition? Yeah, that was kind of cool. That was the best thing they've ever done since Plastic Sisters. Maybe they'll make a good movie eventually. Well, they, apparently the, they bought the guy who did uh, Helm's Ooh. Reach. Here's everybody. Here's what everybody wants. Money shot. All those space marines. Yep. 
That's the exact same thing as the Necron page where it details what they are so that you don't get lost if you are new to the game. Which, honestly, I'd recommend this box to somebody who's new I, to the game. They could have easily, I wish they <coughs> would have gave them data cards. You know, like how Age of Sigmar, you can, like, you buy the codex, you can get, like, the data cards with the stats of the units in a picture. Well, I haven't seen any stats yet. There may be cards in here. Like, if they did that for a starter box... Never mind. <laughs> they, well, I guess they kind of do. You Welcome can, to the rules. Yeah, you can just print them out and, like, laminate them. So, technically, they have them. What I'm really happy about is, look, pictures yeah, I, of the models I want them, that you're playing. This gives me hope that they'll pull an Age of Sigmar where they make the data cards and <laughs> actually have the stats of the units with those pictures. Because that's a really nice layout, and it looks like it would nicely go onto a, a date, like a card that you could print out. He's called Adjudicator. That's why I can never remember his name, because Judicators are my archers in Age yeah. of Sigmar. <laughs> this is the melee version. Yeah, I know, it's weird. Okay, here we go, the Necrons. I haven't actually had a good time to look at any of the Necron special abilities. No, you don't give me the power points. For all those who play, we're going into an edition where it's going to be a thousand point based games. So you're playing small scale. It's, we're going from large scale to small <laughs> scale again. I love the Scorpec Lords. Yeah, he's not like the big dude that had like the three legs that charged yep, at the sister. Yep, he's a three-legged the, dude. In the, in the, in the, he yeah, he is has the swinging idea. at... Subtract one from... Oh, so it's a heavy weapon, so it's a minus one to hit. Mm. But... He hits on twos, so he's basically he space marine hitting. Yeah, he's ending up... It's no big deal on three. <coughs> oh, here's the... Here's the tall, lanky, walking dude. I don't even know what he does. He's got an assault weapon? Assault three, D6. He might just, I think he's their, uh, their, like, Pentian engine. Maybe. It looks like it, yeah. It looks like he's their, like, new vehicle slash Pentian engine. Like, it's their new walker. <coughs> like a, like a Dreadnought. Hey, oh. Now they're irradiated. There was no points stuff. in the back. No! No. Oh. My gosh, what the heck? How are we supposed to know how much points they cost? I'm then? guessing you're supposed to just, uh, well, the app's coming out in the new FAQ update, but in the chapter proof that's released on this date. With the box. Oh, it probably has it in it. Then. Yeah, but, but that uh, sort of shocks me that there's no points. There are points in here. I guess the point, the point, ha, huh, is that you're supposed to build the two armies and play them against each other. And then, I guess, yeah. Like one, like as a sneak peek, it doesn't matter what points are because you're just playing with it, and you have the power points. But on release day, the chapter approved will be out with all the points in it. Oh, some bases. Oh yeah, the mountain of bases. I am not going to get these out because they're a giant pile. Now, the big thing that everybody was going for this box, which we'll do another video on after we have a few, like, a few days reading it, is the fancy rule book. That is a gorgeous looking That is book. really nice. The, the non-limited one is going to have a, the same art, but it'll be plastered with wording. That Whereas this one is, is just... gorgeous. It's so nice. It's a Gilliman and Abaddon. It, it reminds me of the Horse Heresy books. Mm -hmm. Like, those are... It's got that vibe. One of the most gorgeous books I've ever seen made by a company like for a limited one is those horse heresy books <laughs> it even looks good wait hold on it folds out it unfolds oh I really like that Ooh, that's pretty okay I gotta take a photo of okay, that okay take a photo of this oh, oh it's so pretty. damn you glare that is gorgeous that is so as nice as soon as he's done taking a photo I will flip it towards the cam camera <laughs> it's like a two person. Okay, let's let's, let's go just this lay way. down. Let's, let's go this way. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, okay, I'll get uh, that side. You get this side, and we'll just hold it out. Look at that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, big. I love this. And now I'm already afraid to tear it off. I love this old style of mapping. I like this emblem. Yes, that is beautiful. I would put that on a tank in a heartbeat. That's uh, that's actually on the <laughs> limited limited rule book. Okay, let's uh, fold this back up before I yeah. wind up tearing so, it off by accident. There is a limited, limited book that sold out instantly on the website with this box. That's a white cover with no words and a slipcase that had that emblem as the main cover. That would be nice. So it looks like we've got our basic knowledge. Ooh. They're going, really, more, they're they, going they grim dark the again. Is that a killer mushroom? Yeah, that's a killer mushroom. That's not weird at all. What the heck? That's a Sam Fisher that? gene stealer. We gotta take a photo of that. On its head. Oh, the glare is real. Yeah, that's. It looks like they're bringing back new. Oh, that's like one of the orb thingies from that one fan show. I don't know show. what that is. That looks like a chaos, like uh, man on like a world. That like a. Then yeah, there's a lot of new art for. So this is like the updated. Whoa. Oh, look at whoa. that. 
That's the updated. They took the time to put the art in this. Hey, look, it's Saint Celestine. Yeah. From what I've been told, hey, a lot of people are. Uh, yes, Queen Slay. Is um, a lot of people are saying um, they're bringing back the grimdark aesthetic, and it shows in this. Yeah. I'm excited to read what the new lore is and stuff and what's going it on with Gilliman. It has all the war zones done, too. Yeah, Armageddon. So if, if you want to, like, look through this for your campaigns, there are maps all over it of systems that are currently in play, which means if you're looking to build that narrative campaign, you just take a photo of one of these, yeah. print it out, you'll be set to go from planet to planet. Which, talking about campaigns, that was the main seller on here. But, again, we'll go into that with the new video. Uh -huh. Anyways, we're getting distracted by the rule book. Oh, here it is. Here's another one. I love when huh. I love when people throw fluffy lore stuff into the rulebooks. Like Shadowrun, like fifth this concept fourth is awesome. Yeah, fifth and fourth was literally just you took a manuscript off the shadow net oh, we've and hit printed the point it. Point where all the things come together. This giant opening book that says everybody can get one more really nice look at that front cover because that is gorgeous. Nice little look at the back has the same colors clash. Would you like to take a photo? Yeah, of course I will. There you go. Now we, I see right here there's a transfer sheet and then possibly another photo. Alright, so transfer sheet. Things that people may or may want, may not want to know. It has ultramarines, blood angels, uh, space wolves, dark angels, and the nice convenient thing that they put on here is they split it into chapters just for you. So you can cut it off if you want to. Where are my salamanders at, guys? <laughs> They're not here. They don't matter. I am now disappointed because salamanders are really, really good. I love them. I might take some right, of these wolves we, off you. Yeah. Here. Oh, oh another giant pack of bases. So it doesn't look like this one came with any dice. No, that's weird. Usually it's dice and sticks. Yeah. I thought there'd be dice and sticks. And then another poster on the inside. Well, it looks like we got like a box poster. Which a box poster. Do that. What? Is there? What's on this side? Because I haven't been able to look at. Oh, here's the Necrons. Because I just flail the bases. <clears throat> yep, that would be the entire Necron list. I love how this boy is too tall to fit that base in. They have to yeah. squish him. <laughs> but besides that, guys, that's been the box. Oh. Yeah, the chapter's over here. I like the chapter coloring. Yeah. Now I need to know if they can actually play as these specific games. But besides that, this has been the Indominus box. Uh, look for it on release day. Again, MSRP 239 probably going to be a little bit cheaper following our normal sort of discounts. And if you are a player here, like uh, guys who are playing before we close, or on the Discord, you will still get your game day discount with purchase. Uh, it's going to be a limit of one, one item. So one Indominus, one rule book, one chapter prove. If you're buying the Indominus box, you do not get a rule book from the shelf. It's one or the other, and it's the one. The Indominus box comes with a rule book. Yeah, it comes and with it. It's a really nice one. It's not like you're going to want the other one. Unless you got a friend, but then yeah. they can just grab it and yeah. you can buy it for them. Nor the normally, we definitely love being able to just get stuff for you, pre-order you, but due to this release and the just uh, suddenness of it, we're unable to this time around. So, unfortunately, yeah, we do have to put a cap on it. So it's either the box or the rule book per person slash group, because a lot of people will be, be buying these Indominuses together. So it's one chapter approved, one Indominus or rule book. One of the new paints and the one of the campaign journals per group slash person. Uh, until we get more in, which is going to be around Christmas, then we'll start allowing normal sales. But besides that, we'll hand on a better note here and we'll have stuff built and painted on release day so you guys can come see and chat us up. We're excited to see you guys and we've been happy you guys have been coming in, picking up stuff for 9th edition. And again, all the updates are on the Warhammer community page under FAQ for 40k. It's in that tealy blue words for your army. Uh, besides that, do you have anything else to say, Bryce, before we go? I love the box. I love the Space Marines. I think the Necrons look awesome. Huh? I'm hoping that uh, I can get this poster in a bigger thing. You still need to make the uh, Sister Silent and Custodia life-size. That's going to take a while. <laughs> Yep. Still have that. Still need to. Still have nowhere to put it unless I like roll it down over top of one of my shelves covered in Warhammer. Well, besides that, then I guess we're going to go for the day. Yep. Yeah. We shall see you guys in the next video or in the podcast if you listen to it. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. See ya. Okay, and that's where we cut it. <laughs>